Alright, so this deck is relying obviously around Celestial Alignment. Um, our goal is to hit Celestial Alignment as fast as possible and to not use Nourish to get there. That means using Overgrowth and Wild Growth early on in the game as well as Innervate to play out, to cheat out Celestial Alignment as soon as possible. Once we've done that, uh, we let our opponent have one free turn and then we're going to follow up our turn with a bunch of Nourishes into big spells like Guardian Animals and big minions like Scrapyard Colossus for mulligans. I tend to keep our combo pieces like Nourish and Celestial Alignment, but they're really slow. So if you think you're able to draw into them later, then you don't need to keep it. And instead you should keep definitely Wild Growth, Overgrowth, Armor Vendor, the Watch Post, and this Thick Hide Kodo. Let's get into the gameplay. <laughs> Okay, we're heading into our first game of the day with Big Celestial Druid. We are against a Priest here. I think this is a good matchup. Um, the worst matchup is the Mirror because they can just ramp out of your Celestial Alignment, which is no fun. Um, I'm not sure if we want to keep this Innervate. We definitely want to ditch the Colossus and keep both of the Growth cards. Um, well. We could actually get rid of them and search for our combo pieces. I think I'm just going to keep... Or I'm just going to get rid of the Colossus and keep everything else, though. Uh, but you don't have to keep these cards. We drew the Celestial Alignment anyway, so... That's great. I think we're going to wait until turn 2, though, and double coin out Overgrowth instead of just coining out Wild Growth right now. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right play but Overgrowth is a more man effective card. So I think that's okay. And Priest isn't gonna be able to do much on turn two. Maybe play a minion if they're Miracle. A far Watch Post, that's a bit annoying, but um, it's fine. Cause we're gonna ramp out of this anyway. My win rate with this deck is ridiculous. Gets like 80% or something like that. Um, so turn five, well we could play the overgrowth, but that would put us directly at turn seven, so maybe it makes sense to keep it. Probably play the armor vendor and maybe hero power. See what we get, that sucks. I think, I guess if we do that, it's fine. Now we're at, oh that makes sense actually, because now we're at 6, so that was the right play. I think next turn we probably play alignment, even though we don't have the nourish. Because I don't want to fall too far behind. Yeah, cool. Um, does it even make sense to play that giant? Because it'll just die by the scorpion. Maybe we save the giant and play it with the colossus so they have to pick one. I don't think we care about giving plus one, plus one here. Uh, because two of their minions can't attack. If we drop this though, he trades into it and loses the minion, and that makes it safe for us to play the Colossus the following turn. So I'm actually fine with dropping that. Not much they can do with one mana. Or one card, I should say. Kind of sucks that they still have the uh, watch post, but we'll be able to get rid of it in two turns. But the one that makes us uh, draw more expensively. Um, and I think what we really want to find is either Nourish or Guardian Animals. Maligos would be uh, good as well. That sucks, really. That card is really good, by the way, in any like spell-based or minion-based deck that needs spells, like if you're running minion mage or something like that. I think the Colossus is just the better play. Uh, they can get rid of one phase, but then we still have a 7-7 seven, seven that we can trade into their 3-5 or their 5-7. Probably play the Kodo next turn, unless we draw something nice, which I'm hoping we do. It 
it's really frustrating to play against um, Celestial Druid. Okay, well played. That was wild. Hmm. Oh, this is decent. Alright, we can trade into the 4 6. Pretty slow though. It's a little concerning that we haven't been able to find. We haven't been able to find uh, any spells. That sucks. Ooh, this is good. So if it hits nourish, guarding animals is fine. Oh, right. <laughs> it's a one mana spell. Oops. I guess uh, the primordial guy is better if uh, you haven't. Drawn in to Celestial Alignment yet? I'm tempted to hit here, um, just to draw. Mm. It's kind of massive. I think I have to do this. Only running um, one of these. So he has two big minions, but. Or he has three, but one of them can attack. Our minions are significantly bigger. Sad that we didn't pull a Lake Thresher off of the Guardian animals. But sort of expected because we have one in hand. Wow, one damage. Okay, he can't. He has to trade twice into that. And then trade of the defender. Those are like pretty mediocre trades for him. Hmm. It's a terrible draw. I think our best bet is just to play out our hands. Um. Boop. Boop. I'm not gonna play the innervate for hand space just because um it'll trigger the effect. And we definitely are going face, I think that was the right move. They could have a soul mirror, which would be pretty bad. That's their third venomous scorpion this game. Okay, it's a fine trade, we get five armor. This stealth minion should- that's only like, three? Yeah, okay, three. Overgrowth, uh... Hmm. Do we want to trade or just go face? Oh, that is a nice... Very nice draw. <laughs> we could Celestial Alignment again. I'm gonna go with this. Ooh, that was a mistake. Oops. Um, we'll just trade here and then go twice with the leg thresher. Or just do that, actually. Gain two. I'm not sure why I'm gaining, um, but <laughs> sort of out of instinct. <laughs> kind of just it at this point, but I don't think it matters. Um, even if they have Soul Mirror, okay, they have Soul Mirror. I think two of our minions still live because that trades. Um, okay, those are dead, but then this it trades into the already dead minion, so that leaves us with two Threshers, yeah. Did not think that one through. I mean, it might have been the best play, but. GG. Okay, we're gonna wanna ditch the Colossus. I think we can keep everything else. 
armor vendor is a good turn one. Super AFK during card picking, so they might just be dead. Now play the music. Nope, they're back, nevermind. What are you calling in out? Okay, so maybe no minion mage. I guess that makes sense with Cthulhu. Next turn. Uh, we're gonna play wild growth and then overgrowth the next turn. If we try to innervate, that would be cool. And a nourish would make me feel good about playing celestial alignment. Yeah, ruined orb, okay. But they already coined. They can't really take care of my uh, armor vendor, so we get some more chip damage. But obviously, <laughs> our one mana minion isn't gonna win us our game here. Next turn is turn 5, if we overgrowth growth, that puts us at 7, so it's a little bit mana inefficient, but I think we do it anyway. Okay, yeah. That's a good hit. <laughs> That's a really good hit, what the hell? Guardian animals, I think that, that means I still play overgrowth because um, Sorry, my audio was out um, Yeah, but I went for the Kodo instead of overgrowth mana inefficient with the overgrowth because we would be wasting one mana i think it's better to ramp out of zero mana with double overgrowth and possibly ramping out of a second celestial alignment if uh, the game gets to that point this mage uh, doesn't want to play that's cool i think we can cue the music at this point back and they missed their trade play twilight runner this is actually a really good setup for celestial alignment because it's going to be hard for them to deal with it we should go face they're going to trade immediately with that one too they ran out of time last turn learn their lesson it seems there's the trade it's going to be difficult for them to deal with um yeah. What? What is that font of power? What? This might be the luckiest Hearthstone player of all time. I guess they picked Tay to die, right? The 3-3? Because it has to find shield and less stats. Oh, we just hit this. Not sure which one I trade into here. I guess I'll trade here, because I think that's the one that's the uh, real one. Yeah, it is. 
watch post. Next turn we probably play guardian animals. Uh, but Colossus is also a pretty good pick. Would love to top deck a Nourish here. Okay, probably counter spell or ice block. I mean, not yeah, the one that gains you eight armor. I think we have to draw. I I mean, have to play scrapyard because that c could very well be counter spell. They're able to trade into this as well. Um, next turn we go in with Overgrowth into Guardian Animals, uh, just to test for counter spell. <laughs> really sucks that they played that secret. They they were hard blocking the Nourish if I had it. Okay, Flame Strike. Then they trade in with Jin. Never mind. Oh, they really thought that that was gonna target it. They did that wrong. Oh, never mind, they did a fireball, okay. We can take three face, it doesn't matter. Okay, overgrowth. And it was counter spell, so that was a good read. We trade with both. It's not valuable for us, but we drew nourish. So next turn, Nourish, maybe Scrapyard into Survival or something like that. Then it should be GG after that point. Wow, well played. Now every, his whole deck is zero cost. Actually a little bit scary if they uh, continually find draw. Okay. Two mana crystals. Alright, four. I don't really want to play these watch posts. I think I'm going to play the Colossus. Uh, survival. I'll just drop one of them. Um, because I think the minions on board are enough to win the game. We already have lethal set up, so. We have guardian animals in this if they somehow build a board. But I don't see how they're not done here. Actually, it's quite possible that they have like a crazy play here with a bunch of zero cost spells. That encanter's flow is like uh, really strong. See, but the spell they discover off of this is going to be full cost. Okay, one mana brain freeze, whatever. Oh. Wow, what blood. Zero mana flame strike, okay, balance. Just the intellect. If they hit another spring water, I'll be a little mad. Zero mana eye of Cthulhu. Okay. Another brain freeze. Uh, they have lived a turn successfully. And another... Wow, okay. Oof. At least we get a 2 2. Go nourish. Test for counter spell. That's fine. Play guardian animals here. Or we could draw three cards. Probably end up playing anyway. Zero minute 12 12, let's balance. Oh, kinda sucks that these are already buffed, but whatever. We could play Mally here. But I kinda think our board is already stacked enough. Um if they find something crazy, I kinda don't wanna don't wanna risk it. I'm keeping that inner bait just if they have another counter spell. No, 
zero mana refreshing. What, did they draw that? Why didn't they play that last turn? Okay, that's uncorrupted, so that's a <laughs> pretty desperate measure. Another one. What? This is the luckiest player of all time. That's not enough. Never even hit my scrapyard. There's no way he can prevent seven damage. Well, trade with the four four into the five into the eleven five. Trade with the four four into the six three, and then ping the eleven one. That leaves six damage on board. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he gave up. Cool. It's ice block, nope. Boom boom. GG. Uh oh, Paladin. This is the uh, tier one deck right now. This is the most meta deck. Our hand is kind of nuts though. I'm gonna get rid of these, try to hunt for some growth cards. Malagos is not a growth card. Um, the Panther's pretty good though. If we can get that out before we drop Celestial Alignment, that'll be pretty nice. But we also have Malu to draw a ton, so it's not a super big deal if we can't get it out on turn. I'm gonna turn before we play Celestial. So I'm wondering if he's, it's probably Secret Paladin with the Librem bundle, but it might just be straight Secret Paladin, which will kinda suck. It's just a pass. Uh, having the Giants in our hand, it means that we can drop it on the turn of Celestial Alignment because it'll be a one cost as a base value and then go down to zero. If assuming my opponent has a card in their hand. I haven't this is the top rated deck, but as I'm not in Legend yet, I've only played a few games. Um, I haven't seen a lot of it. The most common thing I see is Spell Mage. <laughs> Just gonna trade. So I don't know my Yogg. Hopefully it's not. Sorry for the background noise. Need to find a way to fix that. Okay, he is back. The commander, we get another Norish. Just hear power and hit phase. I'll leave that on board. I've had games where I come back from like 10 HP, so I don't think it really matters to leave too many things on board. Trade in right after we celestial alignment. And I've seen a lot of people not running um, Scrapyard Colossus, but I think it's kind of necessary if you want to survive, because otherwise you only have a few top minions. Oh, okay, so next turn we celestial. This turn I'm just gonna hit face again. Six damage, presumably plays a few more minions. We'll be pretty low, but that's fine. Okay, so he's gonna do at least 10 damage next turn. But I think it's worth it. Generates, and then coin, and then celestial alignment. And then drop the giant. Okay, 
That sucks. I'm not sure if he wants to trade, though. Because if he does trade, he's going to have to trade everything. Probably not, because he has two taunts. We have double nourish. This is kind of the dream. And we have the hard reset if the game goes too long. We have another celestial alignment. <laughs> A weak turn. Man, if we get a guardian animals. Alright, 10 HP. Nourish. Two mana crystals. Guess we just play this. I should have nourished first, that's my bad. Let's go. Okay, two guardian animals. Two more. Send one in. We get the Lake Thresher. I guess we just go again. Well, trade here to draw a little bit. I'll trade there to buff. And then I guess I'll trade here first and then with the Thresher to get rid of that one and then I go face. That is incredible, you're welcome. Now, how do you come back with two mana? I don't think he can. Poor Secret Paladin. I think this deck, like, <laughs> low-key hard counters as long as you have a spell to test for Elmayog. I'm not sure why um, more people aren't playing this. I don't think it's really that much of a meme. Sorry for the background noise again. That door is loud. That should be GG. Um, I think we're gonna. I'm gonna ramp just to hit um, some draw. Um, I want to find that works. Play this. Hopefully, we hit Survival of Fittest. Play the uh, Druid of the Plains. And then Survival of the Fittest. And that is the biggest GG I have ever seen. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the uh, next one.